Listen closely! So, as you pass somebody on your left, you yell... On your left! And if you pass somebody on your right, you yell... On your right! Most important rule of all for new people, if you crash, try to get out, out of the way. Out. If you're trying to help someone that crashed, get out of the way after them. Don't just stop in the middle of the road to help Don't somebody, okay? Short. Very important. Never we stop do in the middle of the road. There's we people coming behind you. Yeah. We have medical personnel. Ten, right. nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, one. The reason why it's called Zoo Bomb is because the zoo is up at the top of the hill in the park where we start from. And bombing is riding down a hill really fast, so it's bombing down the hill from the zoo. It happens Sunday night uh, starting at about 9 o'clock, so it's designed to happen when traffic is kind of low and we can just have fun on the streets. It's not political, it's not confrontational, it's just a fun bike ride. <laughs> That doesn't even make it any special features. You're gonna oh, is he your dad? Dad? Uh, this is my dad. <laughs> he got me this shirt. We ride the train up to the zoo stop, and uh, we take the elevator and the train all the way to the top of the hill, and we hang out. It's a social event. And then we ride down the hill. The bike of choice is a little, little kid's bike. Um, and then we catch a train and repeat it again about two or three times, up to four, three, four times a night. But it busted it on the first off. run. Yeah, first run, it busted on the cranks. Fell off. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's it's like, no lost, more cranks. He lost a pedal. No more cranks. <laughs> what? Yeah, man. They just like popped right off. All right, I'm on it. Coming in. Camera crew's coming in. Oh, 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 pack it in. Once the camera crew's in, we'll see how many of you big bikes we can film. Come on. All right. You. All right. Pack it in. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Boom. All right. If you have a little. Pack it in. Get to know your neighbor. Pack it in. We got this. Come on, big bikes. Wait, wait, wait. Who knows what the load capacity is? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. One more. Lift it up. We got it. No, it's load capacity. This is weak. I know. Hey, camera people, camera people, I got a joke for you. Right. How many zoo bombers can you fit in an elevator? Um, one more. Everybody? One more. I get to say like oorah together, but one more, yes. One more. Uh, you guys can normally, okay, two normally. Two two oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm missing one, but you never tell. You never tell. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, one. Uh, the reason we ride kids' bikes is because they're easy to get, they're cheap, they're um, often free, and so it's basically uh, public fun uh, on the public roads with basically free bikes and so anybody can do it. All you have to do is have a max ticket and uh, a little kid's bike. And we actually maintain a library. We've got a, a pile downtown, a library of kids' bikes that we offer people bikes that don't have them to ride with us. Don't, don't, don't feel bad. No, I like this best. It's going to get caught between the fork and the wheel. And no way, it looks too good. I don't care. It looks too good. Zubom is mostly about looking good. Again. We replenish it from the uh, from the Goodwill bins, which is the discount store. So you can get like bikes for a buck or three, and people fix them up and bring them to the pile. And they're changing all the time. Okay. Number one, rakes. number one, we'll start with: do not just stomp on them and try to climb up the hill. Okay, these are designed for 50-pound five-year-olds, and you guys are significantly above that. <laughs> so what you really want to do here? Is Speeds probably range from about 25 to 45 miles an hour, depending on the route and um, how much risk you want to take. Address. Is this your address? Is this your signature? Yes. Okay. What you're signing is the fact that you're an experienced bicyclist, and then you understand there are inherent dangers with this activity, with these bikes and this activity. The risk of personal injury is very great. 
So assumed keep that risk, in mind. man. It's cool. Assumed risk. So awesome. There you go. Just like skating. People get hurt. Um, there's been a movement for more safety lately. Helmets, pads, you know, protection. Um, most of the people get hurt. Uh, I've seen them come That's back. I did that to a 2000 cc Yamaha and just watched it flip down Marine Drive. Oh no, you uh, saw that? that? No, I just remember it. Like I was riding it, I was really drunk, and I, I passed out and came to it. And the bike was going to do, to do, to do. Then it, and I picked it up and the gas tank was all fucked up. The handlebars were bent in like this. Yeah. But it's still red. Yeah. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna drive it home. And then one, one set of the handlebars broke off. Of it. If it's not flat, it's good. <laughs> Zubom uh, is part of the bike culture in Portland. I do this because I think um, our future isn't tied to the automobile, and I think the automobile is a useful tool, but um, it, we've used it in ways that aren't appropriate. Um, basically, we sort of mismanaged it, and there's lots of um, other forms of lower impact uh, Transportation, especially uh, bikes, I think that are just, you know, begging to be explored further and, you know, should go into the mix. And it's just part of, um, I think, how we're going to move forward. The 20th century was the year, century of the oil and the cars, and um, I think it's time for a change.